At some point, your website is going to need a contact form and contact form seven plugin has become quite popular because it is free and it's also lightweight. But for anyone who has worked with contact form seven will know it's quite restricted in its styling options and it looks almost like there's a lot of coding going on. So to give you an idea of how it works, if you are inside your dashboard and you have installed contact form, you will create your forms over here. This is not a tutorial about Contact Form 7, but rather about the Ultimate Add-ons widget that allows you to style it. So if I click on this Contact Form Basic, it ends up looking like this. This is my fields with their labels. It looks a little bit daunting, but if you have no coding background experience, it's actually very easy. You just follow these little buttons over here, click it, and add those fields as you please. Then to add it into your page builder, you need to go and grab what we call the short code. You see up here, it says short code. This is more or less a code that tells your page builder to come check over here and then go drag it over out from here and then display it. So what you do is you click here and then it will highlight it and you copy it. Then you go into your page builder and in Elementor, you will search for short code. You see, there's our widget, you drag it and you drop it. And then over here in this box, you paste that short code that we just got. And this is how your form will look. So it goes from this looking like this. But you can see here, there is no settings options. No styling is going to be done. This is how it looks. Very, very limited options. So the ultimate add-ons widget from the guys at Brainstorm for Elementor allows you to take that simple form and style it to your heart's content. Right, so you see, you can do more with it than just making it look like this. So let's do that. We delete it and now we look for contact form seven and you will see it has this ultimate add-ons for Elementor, contact form seven styler, drag and drop it in here. Now, it will tell you, please select a contact form seven. Go into the widget, select form. And now when I click here on select, you will see there are three options. This correspond to the three forms that I have here. I'm going to choose that one that says contact form basic. And now it will load it again and it looks very basic again. But this is where we start with all these extra styling options that this widget allows us to do with contact form seven. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change a little a bit about the section, edit the section. I'm going to give it a background image in there, and I'm going to make it cover size. That's good. I'm going to make this also two columns, and then I'm going to put the widget on the right. And now I can start playing around with all the styling options that we have here. The first thing I want to do is I want to reduce, uh, I want to make this transparent, these form fields. So I look here for field background color over here, and I'm going to reduce my opacity. Ah, looks good. And then I want to change the color for my label. So over here, label color, I'm going to make that white. Immediately you see now my form already looks much better and I can style it and it can look, well, it can correspond to the theme of my site and it doesn't look so static like the previous one we had shown you. So let's have a look at everything that's going on here. This is our field size. So for example, here in my subject or my email, this is what we call my field. So if I click on it, I can go to my field size. It's currently on small. I can make it extra small and you will see it shrinks and I can make it extra large and it grows like that. I like to keep it there on small. You also have control over the padding. So if I type in here my name, I call it Jack, Jack Dempsey. Or is it Dempsey? Jack Dempsey. Dempsey, Jack Dempsey. And of course we can see nothing there. So that is our input text place color. We are also going to change that to white. Now we can see it. And this is how you just keep on styling it by working with it. I just want to see, ah, Jack Dempsey is good enough for me. Right, so let's go now to the field padding so you can see how the padding will affect it. If I type in here zero, you will see all the padding 
of my field disappears. I'm going to move it to 10 and you see it moves back. It's more or less around 10. You can disconnect it and then you can give the left a little bit more padding and the right a little bit more padding around 20 and 20 and it will move it in a little bit more than like that. Good. We already looked at the field background color. We've looked at the label color and also at our input and text color, which is that one over there. Just give you an idea of the colors that you can play around with. If you do this kind of thing I'm doing here, it's better to go white on a dark background or black on a light background. So it will become a little bit problematic over the areas down here if you do that. Alternatively, let's go quickly back to our edit section. I know I'm getting sidetracked here. That's the name of the game. Go to background overlay. Let's give it a gradient. Let's start here. This one and then choose this one. Oi, looks good. Right, and let's increase the opacity and let's also change our angle. There we go. Right, now you can see, now I'm gonna decrease the opacity just a little bit. We've applied a nice style to our background and everything looks more, more visible now at this moment. And we are back at our content, contact form seven styler. So you can have your border style at the moment. It is that one over there solid. You can make it double. I, I'm not so sure you can use the dotted, but keep it simple, keep it solid. You can make it thicker if you want to. Again, unless your website uses that kind of styling, keep it simple, keep it beautiful. Don't be weird. You can take away your border color or reduce it a little bit or you can give it another color, but then the border active color is something that I do like. So if I click inside this field with Jack Dempsey, then I can change the color of the border when I click in it. And that is the border active color. So we can make that a different color. Let me click in it again and you see the color changes. Let's make that something just more brighter. Okay, it's not looking that good. I prefer something that looks good. Okay, well, just a different color for it. And then when you are typing in it, when you click inside your message, you see the border color changes, gives you the idea of where you are focused. Alrighty, that is your border active color. You can give it rounded corners if you feel you want to go round and round and round. Okay, there you go. Doesn't look bad, right? Again, it will depend on your website styling. I'm going to keep it at nice sharp corners. And then your field alignment's a little bit strange but maybe there's a reason why you want to center or right flush it. Good. So there you go. Very nicely, quickly done. This is everything about your general. Now the radio and checkboxes, we will look at that soon. First, we will look at the submit button down there. Again, you have your placement of the submit button. I like that one. I really like the stretch one. You can make it medium. You can make it large. Let's go to extra small. Um, yes. I'm going to keep it at stretched. I like that color. You can add in more padding here or you can take the padding away. So let's first change the color of this one. Let's make the text color. We'll keep it at white. And then the background, you have many options here. I'm going to give it a single color. I'm going to make it this. Oh, let's make it the teal color again. Good. So that looks pretty nice. And then when you hover over it, you can change the background color, make it a lighter teal. Uh, is it in hover? Oh, it's border color. Clear it out, baby. Let's go into this one. The options just become too many. Okay, there we got it. We figured it out. This I figured it out. And we will look at the success and error message later. And then just once again, very nice feature from Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor. If you ever get lost, they have these links here that will take you to documentation and videos to help you show how this widget works. Let's do a little bit of styling. Again, this is the nice feature here that you do not get in contact form seven. And this is what the widget allows you to do. You have the space here between your label and the input. If I increase that, you see this is the space that increases. Let's decrease it. And then this one will between these fields affect. Right. Okay. I'm going to decrease it. I like it a little bit. And then we have three 
parts for our topography. We have the form up there, we have our input and text, and we have the button. So I'm going to change them to a little bit more business like Montserrat. See, nicely it changes there. And we can also make it uppercase. Good. And then for the line height, I'm curious, will it affect it? No, not really much. Going to give it a little bit of more spacing of two. Okay, good. That looks interesting. Then for our input text, let's put in John Dempsey there again. So you can see how John Dempsey will change as I'm changing all the other stuff. Montserrat. Oh, and he disappeared. John Dempsey went away again. And yeah, let's just leave that. Let's type him in again. John Dempsey. Now you can see that looks very nice. And the last one we are going to change is the button. Again, Montserrat. And I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to put it the weight. I'm going to reduce and then also make it uppercase. Line height, one. Okay. Uh, also, let's do the letter spacing at two. Good. And there we have styled it, right? It looks completely different than it did originally. And you had so much control over this. Of course, you can add a header there at the top to say, contact us. Um, heading. Let's grab that one. Contact us. Give us your money. Contact us. And then naturally, you'll have to go and style it, make it look a little bit more. Uh, I cannot think of the word now. Make it look a little bit more, more stylish. I hate using the same words again and again and again. Good. So let's just get this done. Okay. Right. Quick, 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 quick. Choop, choop, choop. Right. Things look already much better. Of course, you can drag that in over there. You can maybe add a map on this side and everything. So let's update it. And then let's go have a look in the preview whether this actually works or not. Very nice. There you go. Now, if I were to press on the send button, you will see that it's going to give me error reading because these two fields up here are required. So if I click on send, it will give me this error reading. Now let's go and style that one. And what we do is we click again on the widget and we go under style, no, under content, should be under style, and go to success and error message. So from our error, I'm going to say error border, error message, background color. I'm going to make that this dark red and I'm going to make our message color white. So once I update that now and I go have a look here and I press send again, it will look like this, right? So because of the styling I've done here on my section, this looks much better than the previous one. You can see it better. And you can see up here, this field is required. This field is required. So let's go and give it a required field. I just want to copy this green quickly. Huh? Is it giving me the green? Okay. Copy. I'm going to put this for the background for the green. Now this is when you do everything correct. And then choose the white over here and update it. And let's go have a look. And now we type in here, check at jill.com. Oh, no, no, this is the name. Okay, so let me, uh, Jack Dempsey. And this is jack at jill.com. And now if I say send, it will give me a success message over here. You can style that again to, a, well, compliment. There we go, the word, compliment your website. So this is your basic form, but you've seen that we also had this one over here called your radio and check boxes. And that is again something that you're going to set up in contact form seven. I've done that. I've made one here called contact form radio buttons. And if I click on it, you'll see I've added some buttons over here. Right. And now all we are going to do, we leave all the styling as is and we go back to general. And we just choose that form from select form. And we choose this one that I made contact form radio buttons. And you will see my radio buttons appear over here. So for example, this is a charity organization. People do some voluntary work. And I want to know when are you available? Are you available Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday? 
just one you can choose. This is the purpose of a radio button. You can only choose one, click in it. And then if you are available, which meals would you have? Breakfast, lunch, or supper. I keep clicking outside that little box. Right, so this is what you can do also with Contact Form 7, but it allows you far more greater styling options within this widget from Ultimal Add-ons. Let's go to radio and check boxes. And now let's have a look at how it looks. And then when I say override current style, you will see things pop out a little bit and it looks differently there. First, let's play around with the size. And that is the radio and check boxes size that you can style there. You can make it bigger, much bigger, which is very weird. Or you can just leave it there at a decent size. I'm going to put it at 16. Good. And then the background color, let's play around with that. You can take it out. I like that. I'm going to take it out. You can change it. Let's change it a few colors if you want to see different styles for that. I'm going to take it out and make it totally transparent. I like that. Then the selected color is like that one. The Monday, when you click on it, that is your selected color. Let's have a look if we give it another color. Good. White is going to be the best here based on my background. That one is not bad, but I'm going to stick to white. That is our selected color. Then the label color, right? We already know the label is this one. Okay, so you see I've changed the label. Okay, let's leave it just to have something different there so that you can see it. And border color. This is for your boxes. Make it black, red. Okay, let's put it black so you can see all the differences. And then you can have your border with as well. Okay, again, a little way weird. I'm going to stick it at one. And then for your check boxes, these are always boxes, but you have the option of turning them into circles. And you do that over here with check box rounded corners. I just type in a crazy number like 60 and it gives me my circles. If you don't want that, if you want to keep it at a box, you go just and delete it. And there you have styled them. So let's update. Go have a look on the front end. Choop. And there you have it. There is your very nice, very nice, very nice form. I think I have to come up with another word for nice. I know my English teacher, Miss Castle, will be very unhappy if she started counting all the times I said nice during these tutorials. So I have to go and sit with a thesaurus before the time and decide what I'm going to change for nice every time I say it. Let's have a quick overlook and overview again of what we've done. We have installed contact form. We set up a form over here with these fields. And then you go in when you have your contact forms, click here. Normally you would co copy the short code and then you would paste it into your page builder. But the ultimate add-ons widget for Elementor allows you to bring in that form from contact form seven and style it in so many ways from Monday to Sunday that it looks completely different than the very standard boring contact form seven display. It gives you so much power over it and it's a great way of having a lightweight contact form or a contact form, yes, and also one that is for free. Of course, Ultimate Add-ons isn't for free, but you can check at this moment even they have a 30% discount going on. And if you are interested in that, please go ahead and click on the link in the description below. This is JP with Websites for Beginners.